This is Kanisha with ABTV. I am here live at the Invictus Games Orlando, Florida. Tonight is the final ceremony for the Wounded Soldiers. We will have artists such as Flowrider and Rascal Flats that will be joining to close out the ceremony. A question was recently probed to Prince Harry. Why Orlando? And Orlando has a symbolic meaning to him apparently. 23 years ago, Harry, Prince Harry was here with his mother, Diana, at Disney World where they shut down the whole day just to spend time together. And and so we're here now celebrating the Invictus Games 2016. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the Invictus Games and what they mean for athletes. Yeah, just an amazing, just the camaraderie, camaraderie between athletes is, is to die for. Like, if you finish a race and you've got amputees helping you out of the pool, it's excellent. Yeah, that's great. So. What's going on exactly here today for you? What's your purpose for today? Yeah, I've been swimming most of the day. I've done 50 free, 50 back, and soon the come is 100 free. So hopefully I can get some PBs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so is there any one that inspires you or motivates you to do this? Essentially all the athletes, just the camaraderie between athletes is, is, is excellent. Just seeing other amputees and other people with similar injuries competing and seeing a smile on their faces when they finish a race, it's excellent. And where are you uh, competing from? Australia. Australia yeah. Okay, that's awesome. And tell us about your your specific competition, like what, um, what are some of the challenges with that? Yeah, just the moment, either, because I, I have a brain injury as well, so it's hard for me just to compete effectively, mm -hmm. so it's trying to find the happy medium and a happy balance between competing and, and what, 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 what my abilities are. My name is Michael Oubre, they call me Thing One, and uh, we just hype up the crowd, get them entertained, as you can hear them behind us, they're just going wild, and we love to lead that action on. All right, Matthew Oubre, go by Thing Two. Our main focus is to put smiles on these people's faces. I see that young lady over there. Yeah, I see that smile on her face. That's our main, our main job here. Hype everybody up, make them happy, yeah! Oh, let me tell you, track and field was phenomenal. I mean, it's just amazing what these competitors can do out there, even with their condition. They make it look effortless, from running to the wheelchair. We also went to swimming today, and swimming, oh man, these athletes were just swimming the war. And if you were here for sitting volleyball yesterday, oh my goodness, was that a competition. Neck and neck, head to head, gold medal game, UK versus the USA, went into a third set. Yeah. And the USA ended up taking it by, I think, seven points, 15 to eight. Oh, some very skilled marksmen. We were at the archery on, uh, what was it, Monday night? Oh man, phenomenal. These guys are doing amazing, spectacular. so far. It's wicked. Okay, why did you guys come out here today? Uh, I met one of the U.S. guys uh, during trials and he was really cool and made this sport sound awesome to watch and so here we are. Okay, and did you guys travel from somewhere else to come to Orlando? Or? Oh yeah, I, I'm from Colorado. My, I'm here to watch my sister compete and we're just watching uh, rugby because we got nothing else to do and it's awesome. Okay, and then um, what do you compete in and how's the competition been? Um, I competed in rowing, track, and swimming, and the competition has been absolutely fierce. And have you been rowing and what's your well, story? How did you get into rowing? Um, I 
never rode before until I came here and went to finals and rode. So it's the first time I ever did that, and then I've been running and swimming my whole life. And I hear there's some celebrities floating around. Have you seen anybody yet? Um, <laughs> George Bush, uh, saw the Prince today. And that's it. I've been busy. I've been able to celebrity watch. Very good. Anything else you'd like to say? No, this is awesome. This is such a great experience to be here. What have you guys, what have you guys been doing today? Uh, well, yes, we've, we've been, been watching, watching the game. Yeah, we are watching the um, Invictor game. And for um, now, the, um, the, the USA is going to go to the finals. And now, Denmark and United Kingdom is going to whoever wins go against the United States, and then whoever wins that one gets the gold medal. All right, and what's your favorite sport that you've been watching? Mm, golf. What? Do they have golf out Football. here? They don't have golf out here, do they? Yeah. Basketball! Oh, yeah. What's your basketball? Yeah, basketball. Mine is probably uh, sitting, to, uh, sitting volleyball. Okay, and then are you guys gonna watch? Are you gonna go watch any rugby? Yeah, we watched um, yes, US. Our dad was in it. The US. And sports. my dad, um, he he's on the USA team. Okay. Is your dad is your dad a rugby player? Yeah. Okay, and so they're in there playing the finals right now, aren't? Or is that tonight? Yeah. They're gonna play in the finals. I don't. I don't really know when tonight. tonight. Okay. So tell us what's going on out here today. Well, I'm from Miami, and I came to visit my brother-in-law and watch him play wheelchair rugby. Okay. And then what's been going on today? What have you seen? I've seen a lot of crashing wheelchairs, people falling. It's really great. All right. So what do you think of the level of competition out here? I love the competition. These guys are awesome. All right now here there's some celebrities around like Prince Harry and a couple other people. Have you seen anybody? I haven't seen any celebs yet. I am so waiting. All right, very good. Thank you. My name is Henry Sawyer. Um, I'm the United States team rugby and uh, I play rugby for the United States. Okay, tell us a little bit about you just got off the court. What's going on uh, and what's happening tonight? We just got off the court. Uh, we just had a semi-final match from um, we just played uh, Australia. Uh, we just beat them a blowout. Uh, that was for the semifinals match. Uh, tonight is a gold match and that's going to be at uh, 9 o'clock. Okay, and tell us a little bit about how you got involved with the games and, and kind of what they mean to you. Um, I got involved with the games because uh, we do uh, Warrior games here in the States, which uh, I'm Navy, the Navy Coast Guard team, and we play against the Army Marines. And um, this year we came together as one. We got some guys off the Army and the Marines and Navy, merged them all in one. Um, so we represent the United States. Um, right now, what the game means to me is uh, a lot of camaraderie, uh, just being able to um, compete and, and support the, uh, the U.S. And most, most definitely is just uh, be out here with my family, my family supporting. Okay, and you've met a lot of people from different countries and around the world. What do you say about them? Um, good people. Good people. Like I say, we all one family right now. We just all coming here to have a good time and join forces and, and uh, have a, a good time out here. How amazing is that, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you.